Hey everyone, this is Mark Ryan coming at you with another video and Steve Lawson came out with a book It's called show me your glory. I think it came out last year um, And I haven't read it. I don't know hardly anything about it But I'm guessing that it's about the attributes of God And if you had to put your, your finger on one thing on Steve Lawson's ministry over all the years all the decades Right, it would probably be I would argue that maybe the attributes of God that that rises above everything else um, all the other works Steve Lawson has done, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of them out there, but I, I think the attributes of God are his thing. And so he's going to talk about in this video, and I thought that we would uh, just take a look at it. The attributes of God, because it really is the ultimate lens, the ultimate paradigm through which we see everything else. It, it's the, the, the paradigm through which we see every other area of doctrine and theology. Um, it's the governing principle in a Christian worldview. And Steve Blossom, he's kind of paraphrasing A.W. Tozer, who, uh, when, it, when it comes to the attributes of God, Steve Lawson, he quotes him a lot uh, on that because, hey, the attributes of God, it affects how we live our lives. And so today we see a lot of people who, um, instead of thinking, oh, people need to know who God is, uh, they say we need to really focus on social justice and on critical race theory and bring these into the church in order to get uh, justice and in order to get people to treat each other right. And I, I think that Steve Lawson gets it. No, that's not the problem. That's not the issue. The issue is that people need to know who God is. When people know the wrath of God, then they're not going to mistreat their neighbor because they know, hey, I'm going to stand before God. God hates that. God uh, God gets angry over people mistreating their, their neighbors and sinning against their neighbor. It, it affects how we live. And so we don't need to abandon the attributes of God um, or just or just sprinkle them on whenever uh, we should that that should rise to the top and that's really going to impact how people treat each other is hey just knowing who God is and so over the years I mean we've seen pastors really go down kind of the the woke the critical race theory the the new thing that comes along that's that's supposed to be the big thing that kind of uh, just heals relationships in society well I I don't think that's wise I think the the more wise thing is just to to focus on who God is. And the implications of it. That's going to bring about a lot more um, justice, a lot more good will come out of that, a lot more good fruit will come out of that than focusing on all these kind of worldly ideologies that people think, oh, hey, that'll work and bringing them into the church. No, focus on who God is. It'll it'll change hearts. It'll change lives. It, it really is how we see ourselves. Um, the right knowledge of God leads to the right knowledge of self. When we see his holiness, for example, we see our own unholiness and what holiness would look like as we would pursue holiness. So really the tip of the spear in the Christian life is the knowledge of God and at the heart of the knowledge of God are the attributes of God. That's what this book, Show Me Your Glory, is all about. It is an attempt to showcase God and to reveal the greatness and the grandeur and the glory of God. Your whole Christian life is dependent upon, in one way, one way or another, an accurate knowledge of God. And so, hey, I'm excited about the book. It's been out for a while, so I don't know why I haven't went out and got it yet, uh, but I'm going to get it in. Uh, t do a video about it and just just talk about it. But again, I think Steve Lawson's right. Hey, our, our knowledge of God, it, it forms how we live our lives. If, if people don't know God, if they don't know God's omnipresent, omniscient, and um, almighty, all-powerful, all then they're going to live their God lives as if, hey, it, it doesn't matter what I do. I can do whatever I want because I won't give an account to an all-seeing, all-powerful, all-knowing God. But hey, do you agree with me in that, you know, as Christians, we should be focused more on who God is, the attributes of God. And if we focus more on that, less on social justice, we'll actually see better results. Um, because when you know who God is, uh, you know what he requires of you. Um, because we're to be holy as he is holy, we're to uh, walk in the light as he is in the light. And so with that, hey, I will see you in the next video.